Hello everyone this is Explorer. We are going to a far eastern paradise with its unique natural structure, historical temples that have survived for centuries and the deep blue stretching oceans, where 300 people from 300 different ethnic backgrounds speak 700 different languages on 17,500 islands spread to the north and south of the equator. The country with the largest Muslim population in the world, 88% of whom are Muslims. Before you start exploring this Southeast Asian country, which is lucky in terms of natural beauty with its location but is very prone to natural disasters such as floods, tsunamis, and earthquakes, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and like the video so we can reach a wider audience. Located between the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Indonesia also has lands in the Oceania continent with its islands in the east. Located on the equatorial line, the country's runes are Malaysia in the north, Papua New Guinea, and East Timor in the east. Indonesia, which has more than 17,000 islands, is the largest island country in the world and the 14th largest country in the world with an area of 1,904,569 square kilometers. The largest of the islands are Borneo, Sumatra, Java, Sulawesi, and New Guinea. Bali is the most well-known and most touristic island. Called the last paradise of the world and impressing with its temples and natural beauties, Bali is 93% Hindu. Java, the world's most populated island, is home to more than half of the population with 145 million. Located on the island of Java, Jakarta is the country's capital and largest city. However, due to the overpopulation and lack of infrastructure in the city, collapses occur with the intense use of groundwater. And Jakarta is sinking 18 centimeters a year. Therefore, in 2030, the capital will be moved from Jakarta with a population of 10 million to the Kalimantan forest area on Borneo Island. In addition, if there is no solution to this situation, the people living in the city will have to be evacuated. If we briefly touch on the history of the country, the Indonesian archipelago has hosted independent kingdoms and sultanates for centuries. Remaining in the hands of the colonialists for the last 200 years, this island community gained its independence from the Netherlands in 1949. This multinational country, which has more than 700 ethnic diversity in its history and now more than 300 ethnic diversity, has been very worn out in its effort to establish a nation-state, massacres, human rights violations and internal problems have overshadowed the development of the country. The religion of Islam, which gathered Indonesia to a large extent, was spread by Muslim traders. Indonesia is currently a presidential republic and the third largest democracy in the world. However, in the autonomous state of Aceh, Sharia laws prevail. For example, those who consume alcohol, homosexuals or those who have premarital relations are sentenced to a public penalty. In addition, unmarried people are not allowed to live close or be in a dark environment. Indonesia is the fourth most populous country in the world with a population of 270 million. This large country is also highly ethnically diverse, with more than 300 ethnicities. 85% of the country is made up of various local peoples such as Java, Sunda, Malay, Batak and Madura, while 15% is made up of Arabs, Chinese and other nationalities. The official language of the country is Indonesian while more than 700 different languages are spoken. Most people speak their ethnic language as their mother tongue and learn Indonesian as a second language. And there are five officially recognized religions, namely Islam, Christian, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Confucianism. While 87.2% of the population is Muslim, 9.9% is Christian, 1.7% is Hindu, 1.3% believes in other religions. Thus, Indonesia is home to the largest Muslim population in the world. There are many indigenous peoples who still lead tribal life in Indonesia. Forest people Orang Rimba tribe is one of them. These people, who stayed in the tree huts they built, say that they are happy and peaceful in the forest and do not want to live in houses. However, half of the forests, which are their habitats, 
were destroyed and palm trees were planted to produce palm oil. Tribal members who believe that there are gods and goddesses such as trees, bees, and water are forced to accept an official belief so that their children can attend school and enjoy other rights. In order to have an identity, they have to choose one of the five recognized religions. Another tribe is the Korowai, the world's last cannibalistic tribe. The Korowai, one of the primitive tribes living deep in the rainforest in the state of Papua, continued to live in isolation 40 years after their first encounter with the outside world. The tribe, which consists of about 3,000 people, does not wear clothes, eats leaves, and hunts wild animals. They live in the tops of trees to protect themselves from floods and harmful creatures. Tribal members who believe in the existence of evil spirits and eat those who have these spirits have almost completely abandoned this tradition after they were discovered and communicated with the outside world. There are also many different tribes in the country. If we look at Indonesia's culture and life, the country consists of five regions and 28 cities. There are differences in many aspects including language, culture, living conditions, costs and laws in these regions. For example, while you can live with $300 in one region, you may need 10 times that amount in another region. Or when you go from one island to another, you can feel like you are in a different country. And because the country is so big, the distances are also quite far. The country, located on the equatorial line, experiences summer for 12 months. Although it rains in some months, you cannot see such a big seasonal change in the country, which is under the influence of monsoon rains. Since public transportation is not very developed, cars and motors are generally used for transportation. This results in very heavy traffic. In some hours, a distance of 5 kilometers can take 2 and a half hours. In fact, there are plastic bottles filled with gasoline on the side of the roads as it can take hours to get to the gas station. Metros have just started to be active. In fact, the first metro was opened in the capital, Jakarta, in 2019. No matter how many languages, religions and ethnicities are in Indonesia, it is a society that has formed a unity in this diversity. People are quite friendly and helpful. In addition, they are curious and love long conversations. They often invite each other to home visits and outings. Indonesians are rather slow in most aspects. It is normal for them to arrive half an hour late for an appointment. There are many male or female pop music groups in the country similar to South Korea. Also, badminton, football and basketball are among the most common sports. There is a stark difference between rich and poor in Indonesia. In Jakarta, the slums and the skyscrapers in the luxury districts that begin where the district ends reveal the income gap in the country. Beyond a poor neighborhood with dirty streets, you can see beautiful houses with security. 10% of the population, or 27.5 million Indonesians, are below the poverty line. Beggars are also very common in the country. Indonesian Minister of Development and Culture recommended that the rich marry the poor as a solution to the reduction in the poverty rate in the country. Besides, Indonesia has a huge garbage problem. Most people are unaware of this. So much so that Indonesia is the third country in the world that leaves the most plastic waste in the oceans. In 2018, 115 plastic cups, 4 plastic bottles, 25 plastic bags, two pairs of flip-flops and more than 1,000 different plastic items were found in the stomach of a dead whale that washed up on the beach. In order to prevent this situation in the city of Surabaya, bus services and city tours are provided free of charge in exchange for the delivery of used plastic waste. Since Indonesia is a tropical region, biodiversity is very high. Therefore, it is commonplace to live with insects and lizards at home. There are also dangerous animals. Python snakes are one of them. Also in 2018, a 7 meter long python swallowed a 54 year old peasant woman. One of the bad features of Indonesia, which is located in the earthquake and volcanic belt called the Pacific Ring of Fire, 
is the natural disasters caused by these movements and explosions. The country is one of the countries most affected by natural disasters. Earthquakes, tsunamis and heavy rains are the natural disasters that take the most lives. An average of 5,000 earthquakes occur annually in Indonesia. While 4,500 people were killed in the 7.5 magnitude earthquake in 2018, natural disasters took more than 12,000 lives in the last 10 years. The annual cost of the damage caused by these disasters exceeds $20 billion. Indonesia is one of the countries with the highest accident rate in air transport. According to the Air Safety Network, no country has lost more lives in plane crashes than in Indonesia in the last 10 years. In the last accident, which took place in 2021, 62 people died. The EU even closed its airspace to Indonesian aircraft from 2007 to 2018. The reason why there are so many plane crashes is the difficulty of finding qualified pilots and aircraft maintenance as a result of the increase in aircraft supply and demand due to the size of the country and the low quality of the increasing companies. Another reason cited is that the runways are not fully suitable for safe landing due to weather conditions and rains. If we look at the country's economy, Indonesia is the largest economy in Southeast Asia and the 16th largest in the world. With a per capita income of $5,000, it ranks as low as 112 in the world. Almost half of Indonesians earn less than the $6 per day hunger limit set by the World Bank. The wealth of $30 billion of four business people in the country is worth the total wealth of the poorest 100 million people. Still, the country has made significant progress in the last 20 years. It is a country with a high potential with its rice fields, rainforests, and underground riches. Agriculture still plays an important role in the economy. Although its arable area is 7.5%, it ranks third in the world with $127 billion in agricultural production. It ranks first in the world in the production of palm oil, which is used as food and fuel, and obtains a significant portion of its national income from the palm oil trade. Today, almost all the processed food we buy from the market contains palm oil. However, palm oil production is one of the most important agricultural activities that cause the extinction of forests and endangered species. For this reason, the EU will ban the use of palm oil as a biofuel in transport from 2030, Oil and natural gas is one of the important export items. The currency of Indonesia is the Indonesian rupee. One dollar is 15 rupees. The minimum wage in the country is 4,900,000 rupees. So $326. If we give an example of market prices, one liter of milk is $1.60, one kilogram of chicken is $3, and one liter of palm oil is one dollar. If we look at other information about the country, Indonesian men are the shortest men in the world, with an average height of 158 centimeters. Indonesian women are the second shortest at 147 centimeters. Every Sunday in the capital Jakarta, certain streets and streets are closed to traffic between 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning as part of the Car Free Day event. Activities such as cycling, walking, and jogging are carried out in the event, which is attended by approximately 1 million people every week. Indonesia is one of the countries where the death penalty is practiced. Drug crime is one of the crimes that result in the death penalty. Those sentenced to the death penalty end their lives by firing squad, that is, by being shot. The rituals of Indonesia's Taraja tribe are astounding. For this tribe, death is not seen as an end. When someone dies, they are mummified and kept at home or in funeral homes until they are ready to bury their body. Until then, they still live with the dead, who are believed to have spirits, and even feed them. When it is time to accept death and finally be buried, they sacrifice buffalo because they believe that the dead will find peace more easily. So the burial turns into a kind of fun activity. After burial, they take the dead out of the coffin every year. 
If we look at Indonesian cuisine, indispensable products are rice and spices. Boiled rice without salt and oil serves as bread in the country. They consume meat products such as chicken and fish for breakfast. Indonesians generally prefer to eat local food with their hands in homes and restaurants. Fried rice, satay made with beef and served with peanut sauce, pink fish made from fish, and bakso, a soup, are among the flavors you should try. Indonesia is a tropical country that will impress you with places to visit. Bali Island, one of the most popular islands in the world, Yogyakarta with its famous temples, Borobudur Temple, the largest Buddhist temple in the world in one piece, Raja Ampat consisting of 1,500 small islands with its magnificent view, Tanjung Puting National Park that reveals wildlife are just a few of the places to see. We have come to the end of our video. You can share what you know about Indonesia with us in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe, like our video, and turn on the notification bell to support our channel. Hope to see you in the next video.